Welcome to Outback Outdoors. Make sure you like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos. I was lucky enough to draw an archery cow moose tag for this fall. I just got the truck all loaded up and I'm about to head out on my first scouting trip. I'm excited to go see where these animals are hanging out and make some plans for when the season starts in September. Hope you guys enjoy following along as I go look for some moose. All right, so this morning we drove up to the top to glass back down into this drainage because I figured the moose would like this swampy area. And we saw two bulls right away, or what it looked like to two bulls. So we drove back down and we found one bull feeding through here. Haven't seen the second elk yet, or second moose yet. It's funny, you drive around looking for deer or elk, all you see are does and cows. Now that I have a cow tag, all we see is a bull moose. He's decently sized. He's feeding behind some trees right now. Why don't you step over here behind me and you can see where I'm looking. So yeah, just... Yeah. So he's just like behind these trees over here. Oh, you can see him stepping out a little bit. I'll get the long lens on here in a second. Well, he just ran off. Took a little bit of video, and then when I was trying to reposition to take a photo, he saw me and just ran back across and up into the trees. Haven't seen the second one yet. We're gonna hop back in the truck and go back down the road. Cause when we first glassed them up, they looked lower down. I mean, maybe this was a third moose that we never saw from up high. But before the sun gets over the ridge and hits this valley, we'll get down there and look and see if we can see anything else. But I'm glad that we saw animals on the first scouting trip. Just need the ones without headgear. So after getting back to camp, having breakfast, hanging out for a little bit, I think we're gonna pull out of here, drive back down the road, go up a different drainage, look at a different area and hopefully see some different moose. Um, I think it's just kinda making points on the map where moose tend to hang out. And then once fall comes around and the, the season starts, it's just checking those areas where we previously saw moose and waiting for a cow to appear at one of them. But uh, I'm glad we saw Moose the first day of the first scouting trip and hopefully this evening and tomorrow morning I can see some cows and get a little bit more excited. All right, we'll see you at the new spot.
I just realized that I wasn't recording. So we're driving up this new drainage that we relocated to. And up near the top, we found a couple uh, a couple moose. <clears throat> I keep wanting to say elk, I'm not used to any moose. But uh, two more bulls. What are the chances? Typically you're driving around looking for the males and all you see is cows. Now I can't find a cow. Got one decent sized one. And then one's barely a bull. Didn't even think he was a bull until he turned his head the right way. But they're only like 15 yards off the side of the trail here. Got a little bit of footage of them. But we're gonna watch them for a little bit and then drive some more, see if we can turn up a female. All right, I'm gonna get the camera with the long ones and try to get some photos. Thanks for watching Outback Outdoors. We encourage you to comment below and as always, like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos.